So life cycle of an allostoma cathinum, life cycle is a direct life cycle as there is no involvement of intermediate host. The infective stage is L3 and there are four routes of infection. The first one is peroral route of infection, second one is percutaneous, third one is transmammary and the fourth one is transplacental route of infection. So transplacental route of infection is less common uh, route of infection. So in the life cycle, the predilection site for the adult parasite is the small intestine and uh, they are the female parasite will lay eggs, the eggs will be passed through the feces and in the environment, the egg will be hatched out to produce infective stress that is L3. So our final host can be infected by four routes as I mentioned earlier, the first one is parallel route of infection. So in this case, a final host can be infected after having L3 with contaminated food and water and this L3 will directly pass to the intestine and become adult parasite. But some of the L3 penetrate the buccal mucosa and they will follow the percutaneous route of infection. So in percutaneous route of infection, that is infection by penetration of the skin by the through penetration of the skin by the L3. So this percutaneous route of infection will contribute to the transmembrane route of infection and another one is the trans transplacental route of infection. So usually after penetration of uh, L3 in the body they will move to the uh, move to the lung uh, via blood stream and afterwards there will be a molting in the lung that is L3 to L4. So when uh, these uh, stages are coughed off and swallowed they will lead to the intestine and become adult parasite after have after molting after final molt that is L4 to L5 and from here uh, during migration or mi migration by the blood stream some of them will move to the skeletal muscle and will remain there as dormant condition so these inactivated larvae will become activated at around three weeks before perturbation and they will uh, they will uh, move to the move to the mammary gland as l3 so uh, the young pups or pup, pup, puppies will be infected after having the, this l3 uh, via milk so this l3 will reach to the uh, small intestine of the puppies and uh, there will be development of the adult parasite and uh, while the percutaneous infection some of the L3 will move to the uh, offspring by placenta and after birth there will be a molting that is L3 to L4 uh, in the liver or in the lungs and afterwards afterwards they will follow this route of infection that is these stages will be coughed off, swallowed and reached to the inf infection and become adult parasite after final molting. So uh, in summary, direct life cycle infective stage is L3, four routes of infection. The first one is parodal route of infection and the second one is uh, percutaneous route of infection which contributed to the transmammary route of infection as well as transplacental route of infection. And from parallel route of infection, some of the L3 will move to the, uh, will follow the percutaneous route of infection. So this is the end of the life cycle of Ancelostoma canina. So this is the simple illustration of the life cycle of Ancelostoma canina. So here, uh, the eggs will be passed through the feces and in the environment, there will be development of L3 stages. So final host can be infected after having L3 with contaminated food and water or uh, if if the L3 are ingested ingested by the lizards that is some of the peritonic host they will be insisted there and final host become infected after having these uh, peritonic host and another route of infection that is percutaneous uh, route of infection uh, this L3 will migrate to the skeletal muscle and remain dormant there for a period of time. So before three weeks before perturbation, they will move to the mammary gland as L3 and the puppies or pups will be infected after having the milk with contaminate with uh, L3. And you know, this L3 will be shut down for around uh, three weeks. 
and this L3 will also contribute to the uh, cutaneous larval migrants that is some of the unnatural host will be infected and they will migrate to the skin of the host and uh, produce a lesion serpentine lesion okay